Here's your 2126 RR Grey Wolf. Uh, we got the wheels torqued at 120 foot pounds. The factory's done it, we've done it, but she should probably also check it. Uh, air pressure, we got up to 50 pounds. The awning's powered, and that's just the push of a button. There's a quick connect up front. If you want to run a grass, uh, gas grill here, you can connect and run off the main tanks. There's your 30 amp cord. There's a 15 amp adapter that runs with that. And you got your sewer hose, and then there's a crank for the stabilizer jacks. So once you get back into your site, you want to crank those down after you get the trailer all leveled up. We got a new battery up front for you. Propane tanks are full, ready to go. Now this jack, if you don't want to crank on it, you can just push it to the side and stick a three quarter socket on that and a drill. You can do it that way. Water heater runs off gas or electric. There's your sewer, blacks in the front, grays in the back. So you want to um, hook your sewer hose up here, pull the black out, dump it, leave it open, hook a hose up and you can flush it out. Um, just make sure this gate valve is open when you do that. Shut the hose off, close the valve, pull the gray, and that will just kind of rinse everything out for you. This is your tank fill. So if you don't have water, you fill it up. Otherwise, you connect right to your city water. Um, make sure your power cord hooks up to. Backup camera. Okay, here's your main control panel as you walk in the door. So I had a, uh, if you push the battery, it lets you know how full the battery is. Fresh water tank's empty, the black and the gray water's empty. The water pump is for the fresh water tank. If you're hooked up to the city water, then uh, you don't need it. Uh, propane switch for the water heater. And then main lights. There's various lights here, awning lights. Uh, this will extend and retract your awning. AC's ducted through the trailer, or you can open the vents and have it dump right on you. So if it's a hot day and you're in the living area, then uh, yeah, open it up and that'll really help uh, cool it down quicker. Keys are on the faucet. Battery disconnects down there. So if you're gonna store it, then you can remove the key and that'll shut everything down. And then you got your um, AC and furnace control. So you can just run the fan, AC, and then heat. There's ground fault here, so if you have any issues uh, with losing power on the outlets, I would check this first. Now there's a USB charger over here on the side. Um, it was originally intended for a Bluetooth speaker, but they discontinued that a couple years ago. It was an option you had to buy, but um, they still left the charger there so you can charge stuff up. Tables will fold up against the wall. I'll show you that once you get back in here. And then you got a screen enclosure here. And then here's your radio. There's some instructions here. You can link stuff up to it. Um, you can also use your phone for the remote. I just scan them in here. TV hangs here. There's your TV hookups. If you're doing cable, turn the booster off. If you're using the antenna, then turn it on. Here, there's a vent. There's a vent actually on both sides so you can open them up where you run down the road. And that'll kind of air everything out for you if you got some toys in the back here. 